Okay, get yourself some white chocolate folks, get it nicely melted down. It needs to be nice and runny like that. Worst thing you can do with white chocolate is overheat it in the microwave, so. filming. Worst thing you can do with white chocolate is overheat it in the microwave, but I do microwave my chocolate. Um, you probably best microwave it and then stir it say every 20 seconds. That way you'll end up with a nice nice consistency. That's what you want. And you want the same with your dark chocolate as well when you're making these flowers. You want it to be able to run off the spoon like that. You want a nice steady stream because today we're going to marble the chocolate. Now to marble the chocolate, you basically have to have the two chocolates at the one consistency. So to do that, you'll need to add like a little bit of oil to the dark chocolate, okay? Well, I've already done that, so here we are. We're going to go straight into it. Is all the white just spread it out with a spoon you don't need a palette knife for this we're getting close getting close you want it pretty thick but not too thick okay because what i'm going to do Yeah, it's nice and even. There we go. That's how you even it up, folks. Some piping bags here. I'm going to put a little bit of the dark chocolate into a piping bag. Some bit of a stickler for stuff like that. Okay. I'll do another episode on how to make these piping bags, actually, because it's yeah, I've got a bit of a method. Bit of a foolproof method. Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to cut the tip off. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit crazy with the chocolate, doesn't matter. Swirls and squiggles all over the place. We're going to get a toothpick. We're just going to run it through however way. Like this. Doesn't matter any direction, just go nuts with it, folks. That'll do. Right. We're going to give it another hit. Right, there we go. And we're going to stick this in the fridge for two to three minutes. We're going to sort of set it. I want it um, firm set. I want it, I want it set, but I don't want it fully set. So I'll be back in two to three minutes. Back. So we've put this in the fridge for two to three minutes. It seems like it's setting pretty nicely. There's some bubbles popping out of it. So we'll just have this on the board. What we're going to do is going to get a ruler. I like the width of this one. Sometimes the metal ones are a little bit on the thin side and the flowers end up too small. But I find you've just got to find a nice one. This I think this is about two and a half centimeters wide. So we're just going to get a knife. And what we're going to do is we're going to score the chocolate. We're not going to cut all the way through. We don't want to cut all the way through because that will upset the whole order of things. And then we're going to go along, make sure the ruler lines up nicely every time. You want nice square ones, you don't want... Okay, just scoring the chocolate. We'll snap these apart later. And take your time. Make sure it's nice and straight. Whoops. There we go. Last one. Okay. okay. 
Then we're going to go at 90 degrees with this one. And what we want is a perfect square. Okay. Turn that around. Cut all the way through. Oh, not all the way through. Don't cut all the way through. Score. Score again. You can see this rule has had some use. It's the only thing I use it for, this one. Come on. Okay, getting close. I think that's the last one on there. Now, this, this is where the, the, the magic happens. Um, we're going to go diagonals on that cut. So we've gone 90 degrees and we're going to go on the diagonal now. And this is where we get our little triangle leaf formations from. You'll see later in the video I'll be putting these on a pretty elaborate mud cake. Scoring the chocolate, that's all you need to do. Don't rush, make sure you line up all your points. Okay, almost there. one. Get one more out of that. There we go. That's it. That's our chocolate flowers, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So I said earlier I didn't fully set this chocolate. I, I got it about 90% of the way and that's when I score it. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to chuck it in the fridge and it's going to fully set. And that way it's sort of like... Even though I'm using compound chocolate here, it's sort of like tempering uh, the chocolate itself, you will get a much better shine out of it. So, okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, that's that one. Okay, folks, uh, this is the last half of the video. In the first part of the video, we ice the cake in ganache. The second part we sort of put the, put the rosettes and made it look pretty. This is the last part and hopefully you've done your chocolate work right. It's all going to come together now. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get these bits. Snap these squares off. You get, oh, look at that. Hopefully you got these nice squares done nicely. You snap them in half, you end up with these little little triangles. And we're just going to put them into our cake like such. One's going to be straight down, the other one's going to be on like a bit of a 45 degree angle. Okay, so we're just going to rinse and repeat that all the way around the cake. Now, with these folks, you can actually do a chocolate flour with these little pieces. I'm going to show you how. You get five of them. Because everything in nature is has odd numbers. So you need five. One, two, three, four. There's another one. Five. There we go. And that... That is our first style of chocolate flour.